Okay, welcome back. Just going to do a little unboxing on this PT0001 <laughs> from Premier Toys. It's the Wasteland Warrior. Just taking off the bubble wrap. It's got a bit of a ding in the corner in the shipper, which, you know, can't be helped. It was packed very well. Had all these corner protectors and it was double boxed. So this thing was probably done before it was boxed up. That's it, I'm sure it's fine and I'm not even that fussed if it is a little bit dinged up. Let's uh, unbox, undo the sellotape. And uh, have a look. Got this from 1.6 kit. Always does me a good service. Got this just before the Chinese holiday period. Everything shuts down, so again, one six kit for all your hobby needs. Here is the box. Premier Toys. Let's see if it is Premier. And um, I know a few people like Boilo John have got this on the way, or maybe they, he's got it already. And other people have unboxed it and uh, modified it and shown it off. Very basic box, just made in China. Choking pieces. Please watch out for children under 14 years to use. Not many people under the age of 30 will even have a connection to the original Mad Max films. I'm, in, I'm nearly 50, so I'm an old fart. And even I am not a big uh, Mad Max fan. I have watched number one, number two, number three. Watched one and two recently. And uh, I've forgotten how, how good a film they, they really were. It's just that seeing this figure, well, this version of Mad Max being very highly sought after. And lots of people were um, making customs of it over the years. And I thought this was a really good deal. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. Um, I'm thinking about 130, 140 tops. I'll put details in the description and all that. But yeah, you see it's got the, the band in the middle. And it's like, pull out. All right, let me just pause it quickly. Okay, got that off. It was just a, I thought it might, you know, just come off but you have to slide it off. So let's uh, unbox this together. There's sellotape down in there. Get off there. Of course everything falls out. Uh, let's have a look here, what we got. Let's have a look at the shotgun. Why am I talking like that? I don't know, okay. Right, this is awkward. This is bloody awkward. Uh, light and everything. I can show you that. <laughs> that is a fire hydrant tool. I think. I think that's what that's for. We've got his noculars. They do pivot. Everything's getting blasted with light here. Right, let's try and light this properly so you can uh, appreciate the detail. Yeah, they're very nice. Got like a, a leather effect, and it's got a leather strap. And 
yeah it's got some dusting to it it looks looks weathered as it should and so is the, the hydrant tool it's got like a brushed metal let's have a little shot going yeah it's nice it's got a dark wood effect to it it's not wood but got the little selector don't know if that moves I want to break it I'm not going to try yeah that flicks from single barrel to double nice thing it's got the two triggers very nicely done it's got two shotgun shells in the packaging it's got the axe tomahawk whatever you want to call it apparently it's not exactly the right shape but you know it's going to be in a holster on his back you ain't going to see it from what I'm seeing so far the figure looks pretty damn good the head sculpt is the big make or break on this figure I've seen people um, repaint oops everything's falling out okay I've seen people repainting it and stuff I'll give you my honest opinion Voila. Alright. Let's get up in this bitch. Uh, looking through the viewfinder, it looks better than it <laughs> in there. In IRL. Uh, it looks a bit small. I will say that. He's got a bit of a peanut head. <laughs> He is a bit of a peanut compared to the rest of the body. The neck looks pretty thick. Um, but likeness is... Yeah, I can see what they were going for. But uh, yeah, it's very small. It is very small. Okay, so... Body-wise, I think... Other people have said that they'll swap theirs out for a beefier body. I don't think that's necessary. Um, he's got two different arms. Apparently he's got this type of single bend elbow for the aesthetic look. And then just a regular double bended, double bended, double bent, double bend elbow on this side, which is a, a weird one you'd think he would have the same arm on both so yeah it is a body specifically put together for this figure which is uh, a first so you know to my knowledge it's a first anyway I know this is a crap video but it's just a quick unboxing and uh, just to give you my initial thoughts Let's have a look here. Boots are like a soft, oh no, they're quite hard actually. Hard plastic, nice detail on them. It's got like the spiky spurs on the back. Yeah, they're good. The leg brace is plastic, but it's a nice uh, metal finish. The pad here, I think, is supposed to be a part of an old tire that he's made into a knee pad. This pad here for the shotgun looks a little bit like it needs a bit more weathering. Looks a bit too crisp and clean, fresh from the uh, the shop. The belts, I'm not sure if these are the right colour belts specific to the film. I think they're they look more black in the film, but um, that's only a minor nitpick. This strap across the shoulder is a bit annoying because it keeps dropping. Sure, I'll be able to get that in position and sort it. The spanner looks pretty well done. I've seen similar. Uh, this shoulder pad looks good. I've seen other people 
with this bit missing. So I don't know if theirs is in the box or. Um, it wasn't put put together properly. The axe looks okay. Again, it's plastic. Shotgun shells. And that's it for the first layer. Second layer, we got the dog, which uh, other people have said looks undersized. We'll soon see. I've got another dog anyway that I got with a, uh, I think it was Subway Toys. I am legend figure. That um, I sold the figure stupidly. I've customised it and done a nice job swapping out the head and everything like that. A really nice figure, and I sold it for buttons as well. <clears throat> I've done a swap actually. I think I swapped that figure for my um, Jesse Pinkman head sculpt and a few bits and bobs. All right, so here's the dog. There's my dog on cue, wanting to go out. Dog's really nicely sculpted. <laughs> that dog needs to be sorted. The base is a normal base. But it's nice that they put this um it's not a decal, I thought uh, maybe it is. It's got nice texture to it. Yeah. Nice finish. And it comes with the crotch grabber obviously. And I'm gonna kill this dog. <laughs> Poor fucker. I think he's got dementia. Don't think he's got long. He's just or he's just got a bad attitude. I don't know. Hands, hands everywhere. Alright, let's have a look. So he comes with a grippy grip hand and nice to meet you hand and uh, one for picking his nose or you know shooting shotgun. So that's it. Um, my initial thoughts are Yeah, it's got a small head. <laughs> Fucking peanut head. Uh, what's that about? Why has he got such a fat neck and a peanut head? I mean, on the camera it don't look too bad. And in person it don't look too bad, really. But it is. What it is, it is small. You know... Maybe it's because you got the shoulder pads and makes the figure look even bulkier. And uh, but the head, I would say, is slightly undersized. As you can see it more from the side there. So my plan for this figure is to... I don't know. I'm not sure, to be honest. It was, uh, it was one of those things. It was on pre-order and... I thought, yeah, and then I always wanted a Mad Max figure, I'm going to get it, and then uh, run out of money, <laughs> very, you know, with Christmas and all, everything started coming through with the old pre-orders at once, and uh, I said to Kit, I said, look, I can't afford it until the 23rd, he said, yeah, no problem, I paid off the balance. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Probably keep it because I do like the films. I do like the first two films at least. I haven't watched uh, part three in some some time. So I'm going to pick that up and watch it. Where we went a bit more bouffant with the hair. Uh, with Tina Turner and all that jazz. But um, yeah, it's a good looking figure. Uh, just It is a good looking figure. It's a shame about the head. It's a shame that doesn't come with more gloved hands. I mean, in the film, he's always wearing gloves. So unless I sculpt, you know, onto these gloves or 
I don't know. Oh, I've just broken the trigger, haven't I? Yeah, I think so. I know the whole thing's just broke. So be careful. <laughs> be careful with your figures. I'm doing it a bit slapdash because I'm just trying to get it in a pose. But yeah, that's broke off. So that's uh, something to watch out for. Bit of super glue in that will be okay. I thought I'd actually broke the triggers, which I've done on figures in the past. I'm going to go and let this dog out. Try and sort this figure out with a bit of glue and I'll be back and I'll let you know my overall thoughts. But it is what it is. The outfit feels like a thin pleather. Um, don't know how long that will last over time. Oh God, it's caught up in his... It feels good though and it looks in scale. I will give it that. Hopefully, it's got a bit of a talky feel to it so maybe it'll be all right. Hmm. I wouldn't go getting the sandpaper out and weathering it more. I think it's they've done a pretty good job with the weathering. Looks good. It looks good. Shame about the head's a little bit small. I say his neck accentuates the... But it is quite squishy. Maybe I could work with that a bit. Yeah, I'm going to deal with this dog. You think it's annoying. Imagine living with this blind, decrepit, smelly mop of a dog that just constantly wants to go out and then wants back in two seconds later and yeah, he's going a bit mad. So what can I do? Do my best. There it is, there's the video. Take it easy, make up your own mind. Out of 10, I'd give it a seven. It's pretty decent. All right, thanks for watching, bye.